Hello guys, welcome to Freebirds 2 and welcome to an amazing end-to-end -end project on hyperpersonalization with Gen AI and LLM. So let's get started. If you don't yet watched my 75 hard Gen AI challenge playlist or rack plus LLM use case in finance domain, please watch and learn Gen AI for free. I will put the link in the description. So, so let me just give you a brief information about the hyperpersonalization and how it is different from recommendation engines or normal personalization as well. So. Hyperpersonalization means it provides the right message to the right audience at the right time by a right channel as well, like by using WhatsApp or email or text as well. Okay, so hyperpersonalization creates a fine-tuned or customized message for the targeted customer by analyzing their behavioral data or their personal data as well by using Python, Gen AI, artificial intelligence, or data science, machine learning as well. Okay, so this strategy goes beyond the traditional personalization methods that use the clustering or uh, recommendation engines as well. Okay, so we are creating a personalized or single customer centric response or suggestions based on the customer behavioral data. And that behavioral data is like uh, customer demographic information, customer personal information, customer banking information, or customer past product performances information, like how it performed in the past loans or past uh, their products that, that they purchase or buy, and their hobbies as well. So every kind of customer personal or their behavioral data is used to generate these per personalized recommendations or personalized suggestions as well. Okay. On the other hand, if we talk about uh, recommendation engine versus hyperpersonalization. So recommendation engines is often built around the products or items where the personalization is built around the individuals and their behaviors. So recommendation engines that uh, use very various kind of like uh, algorithms like uh, k-nearest neighbors or deep learning algorithms or matrix factorizations as well that works on the content-based filtering or collaborating filtering as well. But hyperpersonalization use stack of multiple machine learning algorithms that is built on the single single behavior of the customer that collaboratively will generate the result that will uh, give a customer personalized output as well okay so in the summary if i just talk about that so uh, hyper personalization is just a more in depth way of recommend uh, more in depth way of recommendation that use various kind of customer behavioral data rather than the customer past interaction data that is used in the recommendation engines or uh, clustering algorithms as well. Okay, so let me just show you how I built this first version of hyperpersonalization project using Gen AI and machine learning as well as we utilized an open source large language model that generate the insights and multiple machine learning models to generate the personalized offer for the user as well as the dynamic pricing as well. Okay, so let's get started. So here's my project on hyper-personalization that I use. Uh, so let me just explain you one by one that how I built this complete project. So first I use a faker library because I don't have the company's internal data. So I just generate the data that is uh, a very much similar to that kind of data that, that we actually use in the companies or organizations as well. So first is the customer demographic data that is customer ID, their name, age, gender, mental status, education, occupation, and along with the salary as well. Okay. So this is how I generate the customer demographic data. And then I generate the customer financial behavior uh, data that how it uh, basically perform on the various financial products like personal loans, home loans, or credit cards as well. And based on that, how it uh, uh, use and how uh, it goes in the delinquencies or how it missed many kind of EMIs as well. So every kind of uh, data is generated with this kind of function as well. Okay, then I generate another uh, function that use to generate the inquiries data that how uh, frequent the customer is inquiring for some other financial products like personal loans, home loans or uh, credit card as well for how much inquiry amount and uh, what's the status of that inquiry. It is approved or it is rejected as well. Then I generate the customer transaction data. That is a customer statement or like it's a banking statement uh, data that I uh, generate here that uh, is used for the customer uh, spending pattern analysis as well. So here if you see, I just uh, make a customer ID, transaction date, transaction amount, transaction description. And in the transaction description, I 
like already build so many kind of variables that already give me so much uh, about the person that it is a shopping entertainment fitness music trading travel and many kind of things along with its salary as well okay so everything i just get it from the hobbies detected uh, variable as well okay then i just create this uh, data for the 5000 customers as well and then then you see that uh, if i have a 5000 customers then their financial products can be two or three based on that i just make that every customer should have at least three pro uh, products so i just create a uh, financial behavior for 15000 rows and it should be have 4000 inquiries and along with 20000 transactions for these 5000 customers as well then all this data i need to aggregate now and build a merged data frame at the end so for that the first thing i do is building a financial behavior summary okay and then i just group by the customer id and building a financial behavior summary and then i build a transaction summary as well that how is this customer like uh, uh, doing the spendings as well and then i created a inquiry summary as well that how much it is inquired and what is the product that it inquired as well and at the end i just merged all the data with my customers data only okay so this is how you can see uh, the merged data frame look like i have the customer all the data along with it uh, everything that that i need okay then i just have this product type uh, uh, with me let me just uh, run this whole thing once again uh, this is first this is second and this is third this is how your merge data will look like uh, it's running now it's run and this is how it look like yeah okay so you see that in product type i have this multiple products against each of the customer so i want to make it into a separate columns so for that i just explored my product type uh, uh, column as well and create the dummies out of it and then i just put a group by so that uh, group by is like uh, help me to like uh, generate everything that that i need for the customer based on their various uh, attributes like salary loan amount everything like that i just uh, put a uh, aggregation function that i just need for that for the categorical features i use the first and for the numerical features i use the appropriate aggregation functions like sum or max as well okay so this is how it just uh, give me a final data at the end so uh, let me just uh, run it once again uh, i just need to merge this and this done and then this done yeah so you see now we have three three columns the credit card home loan and personal loan with their three separate entities as well okay okay so now the next thing is to do the cluster because i need to uh, mark them into the separate clusters so for that i just use this clustering ag algorithm as well for that you can use uh, k means or uh, db scan or many other uh, very high end uh, kind of uh, clustering algorithms as well so i just use the elbow method to uh, detect the uh, the number of cluster that that i i can use i use the three clusters that just uh, generate and at the end it just gave me the result okay and for that then i just try to uh, see that what kind of uh, data that this clustering algorithm put in the cluster so i just generate a summary out of it and this summary will help me to uh, just let me just uh, change the presentation of it uh, this summary will give me a complete view that how these cl uh, clusters are look like and based on that i just uh, analyze that these three customers are like this the segment zero or the cluster zero is the affluent customers who have the higher average salary loan amount credit limit and transition amounts these customers has a higher financial standing with substantial balances engagement in high value transaction these are the lower amount uh, customers these are the mid range amount customers so in that way all of my uh, data is now segmented into the three customers and now now i need to build the hyper personalization models and that will uh, generate uh, those kind of uh, personalization offers or personalization amounts for each of the user as well so for that the first thing is i built a dynamic pricing model and for that i build this dynamic pricing model for each of my product type for home loan as well for credit card as well and for the personal loan as well okay so here i build my three uh, uh, random forest regression models 
and uh, with the help of that i just build these three models and for that i use that first model is for the personal loan second model is for the home loan third is for the credit cards and at the end i just check check it for only the credit card to see what uh, is the like uh, predicted amount that i i can get okay so in, in that way i just build this kind of a dynamic pricing model and then i just try to build a product recommendation model so i i know that i have this kind of a three columns in my uh, merged data that has a, a credit card or home loan and personal loans kind of things as well so now i want to predict that uh, what are the chances of a new customer to buy something uh, a new pr uh, product if it is recommended to them so based on that i just take all these three variables as my target variable and i use a multi output classifier that use the random forest classifier to predict that uh, what is the probability of a customer to buy a credit card or home loan or a personal loan as well okay so in that way i just try to build this whole project and at the end i just uh, try to uh, uh, build a data frame that contains the probabilities of each of these uh, products as well and if you see i just build this whole project and so who's for the credit card for the home loan and for the personal loan it gives a very good kind of uh, accuracy at the end as well okay and now now it's time to save all those kind of models in the pickle file so i just save in the uh, this models four folder as well and then i just combine all of my above code and then try to build a single code that can be used in my flask application as well okay so it has the process code because uh, in the flask app i want to try to pass the customer data into the json format so it has to read the json format as well and then try to uh, scale the data and then try to predict the segment of the customer as well and then try to uh, predict the uh, product as well as the its dynamic amount as well with the help of these all kind of models that i just created above and loaded here okay so in that way this whole code just completely works and at the end is just uh, give me the recommendations the customer segment and along with the all product probabilities as well and from the all product probabilities it just takes out the maximum uh, Pro, uh, probability product and only for that product it generate the uh, dynamic amount as well okay so here i just use this kind of uh, dummy data here and then try to build up uh, uh, like run my this function and it generate that for credit card the probability is 0.97 for home loan is 0.35 and for personal loan is 0.43 and for that it just choose for the credit card that that when it brought this credit card and for that the credit limit would be 71104 based on the customer all these attributes as well okay so in that way it just uh, create this whole kind of product as well now now the next part comes is large language model so how i use the llm to generate the insights so i use a very small large language model here that i just uh, got it from this so let me just show you that where i can got it so here so here Uh, is the a uh, very small large language model that i just use you can easily find it in this uh, link uh, i find it in this link that top mini large language models i find it in the top and then i directly use it in my this project as well okay you can try to use it i will put this uh, large language model link in the video description as well okay okay so i use this model and try to load it with the help of transformers library as well and then generate the insight function that use this kind of a prompt that takes all of this data and generate a summarized insight about this customer as well okay and then i use this query pipeline to build a single function that takes all of this prompt along with the customer data and generate the insight okay now i have all of this ready with me now it's time to build a complete uh, application by using the flask app so here is the flask app code the first i just import all the necessary libraries that i just need and there is one, one more thing that i just use is lru cache here that lru cache help me that if once my model is loaded it is not lo loading again and again when i call this kind of a function as well that helps you to increase your app speed okay so here i just uh, load all my models here i load this kind of uh, large language model as well this is this is a generate insight function here and this is the 
process the data function here it pass the data and these are the columns that i just required for the scaling and these are the columns that i just required for my machine learning algorithms for classification as well and for the regression or like a dynamic prioritizing as well so in that way just complete and then at the end the insight that it just generates by using the large language model it get cleaned and give me a cleaned insight at the end that i just print on my html page as well okay let me show you the html page here this is my index page these are the all the css that i just needed and i just pass here this is my text area on which i pass my uh, complete uh, json uh, input and then click on the generate recommendation it, it will uh, generate the recommendation and in the generate insight it will generate the insights as well and this is how i will uh, uh, like show my data on the uh, html app as well okay so now let me just show you a small demo that how it actually works okay so let me just first run this app this app is already running uh, let me just run again uh, click on python app.py and when I just click on that, it just run my whole code on this server. Okay. And I just go here. And this is how my whole app will look like. And uh, okay. This is how my whole app will look like. I have to uh, pass my data in this format. Every data I can put it right here. Okay. Then click on the generate recommendations. So it generate the recommendations based on the uh, customer this data that I just passed here, that recommended product is credit card and recommended credit limit is this. Customer segment is two. It is a moderate type of a customer as well. And all other product probabilities are like this. Okay. And if I just click on generate insights, it will try to generate insights and print it right down here as well. It, it will take like around five to six seconds to generate the uh, insights response as well. All right, guys. So here, if you, if you see this, that these are the like uh, insights that is generate for this user. That administration handling is good. Understanding is good with all the information that it just get from this JSON response. So this is how it generate the personalized response for your uh, customer, and it can generate the personalized insights as well. I hope you guys completely understand that how you can build this great, amazing project out of uh, the using Python data science and large language models embedded in it using the uh, and build a complete hyper personalization project as well. Uh, guys, I hope you guys completely understand this complete project. I will put all this code in the GitHub as well and share the link in the video description. In our next playlist, I will teach you all about the rag, that rag that is used in the large language models to use the your own data to build a context for the large language model. In this kind of a playlist, I will teach you all about the rag, how to build the industry level applications or projects. So just be with it. And if, if you guys don't yet watch my uh, 75 hard generate playlist or want to learn generative AI or machine learning or deep learning, please watch videos on my YouTube channel and read my blogs on Medium. We'll meet in our, our next videos. Thank guys. Thank you so much.